If you're looking to get some focused practice with SAT circle questions, you've come to the right place. Just make sure to pause the video and try each question on your own first. Let's get started. Let's start with an easy question here. And again, pause the video, try it on your own first, but let's take a look. It says the above circle has a circumference of 36. So 36 is the circumference, the entire thing all the way around. What is the length of minor arc AC? Well, we've got a right angle here, which means 90 degrees. And since O is the center of our circle, it means all of these also have to be 90 degrees. So we know this is split into quarters perfectly. So this is basically, you know, four perfectly even slices of pi, which means we just have to go 36 divided by four, which is of course nine. So our answer, is A. All right, moving on to a medium question. Here we've got the number of radians in a 720 degree angle can be written as A times pi, where A is a constant. What is the value of A? So this is really just about, do you know how to convert degrees into radians? Or do you know how to pull up the reference sheet? Because if you pull it up, Sure enough, you're going to have the number of radians. It's a little bit hidden. It's at the bottom there. It says the number of radians of arc in a circle is 2 pi. So let's think about this. If there are 2 pi radians in a circle, how many degrees are in a circle again? We should know that one. It's 360, right? But in case we forgot, it's also on the reference sheet. So from here, we could also just figure out what pi is. So you know, if we divide by two, then pi would be 180, right? So then we could use that conversion to apply to 720. And you could set this up as a fraction equal to a fraction. We have one pi over, you know, something pi, a pi, is equal to 180 divided by 720. And we can get rid of the pi because we know that we're looking for a, right? So that we'd change this to one. And if we cross multiply, basically, 720 equals 180a. You could just throw that into the calculator and divide by 180. You could also get rid of the zeros and say, you know, how many times does 18 go into 72? But regardless, it's going to be a equals 4. All right, and we'll end with a hard one here. Go ahead and try it on your own first. This one, if you know the circle equation, is actually not hard at all because the circle equation is x minus h squared, sorry for my sloppy handwriting, plus y minus k squared equals r squared. What is r? r is radius. So based on that, we can stick r squared with 121. And if r squared equals 121, we just have to take the square root of both sides. And the square root of 121 is 11. So our answer is 11. Working through specific problem areas like you just did is a great way to improve your score, especially when you couple that with practice exams that resemble the real thing. To sign up for a free proctored practice exam that you can't find anywhere else, go ahead and use the link in the description.